Hello everyone, this is Malachi with Garage Band Tutorials. So this is kind of a part two to the previous video last week where I talked about how to save presets. What I'm going to show you now is how to actually send a preset to someone and when you receive a preset through GarageBand, how to save it in the GarageBand folder. It's not really the GarageBand folder, but it's the system folder on your Mac. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to show you. I'm doing this for a client. All right, so what you do is you will go to Music. You go to Audio Music Apps. You will go to Patches. You will go to Audio. And then all your patches are there. If anyone sends you a patch, you, you copy and paste the patches into that folder. So I guess I just showed you how to save a patch that someone sends. If you want to send a patch that someone sends, what you would do, what I would probably do here is I will save my wrap patch. I would hold down command and get the wrap lead back up in the back and the lead vocals. I'll send the R&B vocals and I'll send the talking vocal and I'm probably a single mix. I don't know if I'll send that. Nah, I might not send that. So I'll send the rap vocals and the R&B vocals and talking patch. Those, those four, five, including the talking patch would be just enough. Then I'm going to have to compress it because your email won't recognize it. If it does, it does. I don't, I'm not even going to try to attempt to figure that out. Um, it would be a waste of time. So I, I zipped it. And uh, I'm just going to name it Patches. So once whoever receives this, or when the client receives it, he'll open the zip and he'll just copy and paste the patches in this folder. That's it. I want to thank everyone for watching. If you're interested in getting access to my patches and you don't want to learn how to mix in GarageBand, you just want to do the patches and have them for your music and just do the mastering, contact me. Um, I'm only charging like 25 bucks for it. It's very, very cheap. And you'll be able to mix all your music forever and ever and ever and ever. And you'll probably, only, you'll probably be able to mix a whole album in a day. Because these patches, once they're, once they're launched and you can apply them, it saves you at least four hours per song using patches. Thanks for watching, guys. And gals.